While I'm waiting for parts to come in to finish my brakes, I decided to rebuild my axles. I took them apart, painted them, put new boots on, and rebuilt the CV joints. See how I did it. I had a couple old uh, stock CV joints that have been sitting in a crate for I don't know how long. They were ugly, but they were old, you know, they were stock, right? I took them all apart, organized all the parts, and this is what you can see. I was just evaluating whether or not, I was hoping that they'd all be good and we'd rebuild them and no new parts other than just new boots. But it does turn out that I did see one problem. And so when you're inspecting these things, you take them all apart. And by the way, I'm, if you don't know how to take them apart, there, there's videos out there that explain it in detail, and I can't add to it. They do a great job, and I just followed them. Um, what I'm looking for here is, is I'm feeling inside of these little races here where the bearings go. I'm looking for damage, right? And you can see areas that are you know, kind of shinier or maybe even grease stained, maybe blackened areas, but it looks like there's issues, but when you hit, hit it with your finger and if it's nice and smooth, you're, you're fine, you're good to go. And like I said, I've been so jaded with aftermarket parts that even if it's a little dirty or whatever, I'm going to use the stock part. And here you can see uh, that where it says low bro and has the little logo on it. Um, so I'm going to use the stock parts whenever I can. I am so sick of these aftermarket parts. What, either they're not fit, they don't fit right, or they're just garbage. You know, they're not quality made. So this one, when I looked at it, this is the one I'm, I'm, I'm replacing, and I'll explain why if I, can, if I can film it. Right there, I don't know if you can see it, but that actually is, if you go over it with your finger, you'll feel it is damaged. It is actually, the metal is messed up. And so, um, and I think I found a second area on this other one. You can kind of see that too, where it is dented in, it's divoted in. The metal is actually messed up. Now, if it's a minor one, you might be able to just polish it out with some 2000 grit or something like that. But uh, that's deep. Those are, those, are, those are pretty bad. So this is the only one out of the four that um, had this issue. The other ones were nice and you know felt good under my finger. And correspondingly, I believe this one went with that. And uh, let me just show you there again. You just feel these with your finger, and if it's nice and smooth, that's that's great. You don't have a problem. But if there's like here, you can see there's a little bit of uh, that's actually sharp because it's a divot. You know, got. But the worst part, where is that? Right here. That is actually all chewed up right there. If you go you feel it with your fingernail or a screwdriver, it is chewed up. So that one, and then I just went over the ball bearings and felt the ones, again, if there's like, if any of them have a chewed up, if you feel them and whatever. And I just, you know, honestly, most of these, there's probably one real bad one, but most of these are just fine. So um, I'm, I kept most of the other bearings, but I ended up getting a brand new, um, new one. And this is what it looks like. It's the what is it, GKN, and it's made in Germany, and that's what you want to see. I'm not going to buy any of the aftermarket garbage. Made, I don't care if it says it's quality or whatever, made in Italy. I don't care. I'm just, I'm just done with it. I'm so sick of these things. So this is the new one, and you can see that, yeah, it's a GKN, Germany, low bro, whatever, um, made in Germany. So that's good. Now, what's interesting about this is... And I didn't do a good job of paying attention to this. I didn't realize they were different. Notice on these, they have a smooth opening. And then on these, they have a little bit of a bump. And what that does is notice that the smooth opening lets the ball bearing all the way through. But the bump out keeps the ball bearing. I'm just showing you on top, but it keeps it inside. It can't go through there. And so that's interesting that there was two of these, the smooth ones, and two of the ones with that small little ridge that keeps the ball from going through. Also, on these guys, there was two with that little step ridge, almost like a built-in washer, and then two where they're smooth on both sides. There is no step. So I didn't really do a good job. I'm going to have to do a little research to see if... Uh, my, my feeling is is like one of the axles had one of each. You know, one side was this and one side was this and whatever. 
uh, on the new one, I don't know if it matters, but on the new one, this one does have the step, which is fortunate for me because the one that was bad for me was the stepped one. So the new one is a identical match. So, um, but I have to figure out how this was done. So I guess I'll throw one of these out. And for these three, I guess I'll have the new one is like this. And then, so maybe one of each on each side. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, but luckily, I also, all the hardware was good. These, uh, I don't know what you call them, screw plates or whatever. I have all the washers. And I have most of the bolts. And all of the washers are all clean and in good shape. The uh, kits that I bought, I bought four of these guys. This is GKN as well. And this is the boot kit. The boot kits, the GKN boot kits, comes with a packet of grease. Comes with the boot. Nice boot. Looks good. This is, I think these are germ, no, these are made in Italy, but it's CKN. So they're, they're fairly good quality. I didn't, it comes with a new set of bolts, so I'll probably just use my original bolts and then whatever, um, I'm missing like eight. So I've got six in one pack and I've got plenty of extras, so if anybody needs them, I've got them. It comes with a, it does come with a new, with a new washer, so I've got extras of those. Comes with a snap ring, so I'll have four of those as well as a five, uh, an extra one. And then it comes with a uh, clamp for the boot. And then I bought a 3 8 inch drive triple square bit socket 8 millimeter. Originally I thought that this was a Torx head, but it actually has more splines than a Torx. So that was a learning for me, and that's the name of it, triple square bit 8 millimeter. And that's what fits in there. So I got the long shaft so that I can make it you know, around the, uh, you know, so I don't, I, I can make it around the boot. And um, so that's the, that's the product I bought. I might have bought this on Amazon, I don't know, but you could, gear wrench, you could probably find these in, in uh, your auto parts store. Uh, the one other thing I'll show you it also is the old, how I prepped the old shafts. So I cleaned them up, I wish I could show you when I, after I cleaned them up, but I cleaned them up real good and, and there's no, you know, issues, everything, um, I guess the things you want to look for is on the ends here. Sorry, I can't show you to you because I'm masking them for painting. But on the ends here, if this is all mushroomed or, or there's problems with the threads or, you know, or not the threads, but, you know, if this is mushroomed or, or, yeah, there is a spline on this end. If there's any problems with that, you might need to replace the axle itself. But, again, I'm going with the original. I don't care if it costs more, uh, less to replace them entirely with a, you know, aftermarket one I am not dealing with that stuff so you can see I've masked it off up and uh, on each end up into the first uh, step here uh, where the uh, the the bearings will go on and I've just painted it you know or actually they're just primed and I'll just kind of wet sand the primer and I will then apply a few coats of that's gonna be bad some bit light here a few coats of rust-oleum professional uh, high performance enamel and just like I did all the other stuff uh, under the car and Yeah, a couple coats of that and I'll get those put back together and I'll show you what I did Well, I've got all the bearings assembled here. This is the new one. I didn't have to assemble it and one of the interesting things I found was I was I was uh, Trying to figure out what was going on with the fact that uh, some of these did not have that stepped uh, raised area like um, like this one, that raised area, these two were flat on both sides. And so I was trying to figure out, you know, how that all matched up. And the other thing I, I think I showed in the last one was um, I had two different types of cages, one with that little raised edge and one where it was just flat across. And what I discovered, and I just, just before I do the assembly, I just wanted to show you guys this. These flat ones, interestingly... I paired those up with the cages that did not have the step, so the ones that were just flat. What I found was half of my bearings were smaller, slight, just a slightly smaller, and they were able to fit 
in this in this stepped cage here. So only the smaller ones could go through there. But then the other half of the bearings were just slightly too big and they wouldn't you couldn't push them through there. So that told me that the slightly smaller bearings go with these style cages. Now what I had to figure out is which style of this went with which cage and it became apparent that at first I put these the the, the ones where they're smooth on both sides together with the stepped cage that with the smaller bearings and they were really loosey goosey I mean they're they're loose now because they've been used but they they literally almost fell out so it became apparent that the my uh, my good one with the step on it had slightly smaller races that seemed to pa uh, pair better with the slightly smaller bearing so therefore these these guys and also the writing on these uh, kind of matched up like the, the these outer casings have the same writing and the other one was just slightly different uh, on the right the other two slightly different with the writing on them so I, I figured okay th this one the one that has the step in it is the one with the smaller bearings and therefore has the cage with the step in it and goes with this sleeve so it became apparent after as I was putting it get together how that all worked out and the other thing is on the new one, the new one's got the triple line and the single line. Um, and the triple line just goes on the outside, I guess, faces out. But all my other ones had just a single line. Sorry for the noise train. Uh, the way it just matches up is that the single line is what goes on the outside. So either, or I'm sorry, the single line goes on the inside, faces in. Um, so that... In this, case, in this regard, they all match up. I mean, it's just the new one has that three ring that goes to the outside. So, yeah. Um, so I figured all that out, and now I've got my, my pairs. And I guess what I'll do is on the axle, I'll put one flat one with the new, with the stepped one, the other flat one with the other stepped one, and we'll go like that. I don't think it really matters. I mean, it's just, they're just slight variations. Uh, I also cleaned and uh, I think I showed you that I had these primed in the last clip but I, I put three coats of uh, that nice professional rust-oleum uh, black on it so these are painted and so now I'm ready to assemble them all right I brought you over to my other workbench I'm in the middle of well making an utter mess as you can see I got the one side on and done um, the boots in. I shoved a bunch of grease in the boot. I'll just re-grease the outside. This side, I had problems getting that. I started on this side and I had real problems getting it in there. I was hitting it with the dead blow and it just wasn't going on. So I've got this, and you might have to do this too, uh, this, oh gosh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's this triangular file. And basically what I'm doing as I'm finding, you can see real well on this one, I'll have to do the same thing here. There's just a little bit of damage on the splines, you know, from pounding the old bearing out. And so what I'm doing is just carefully, get, you know, getting, the, getting one tip of this triangle file into there and just making sure that each uh, of the splines is not obstructed.
Well, axles are rebuilt. Can't say it was easy, but they look good. I'm happy with them. Like I said, I didn't do an exhaustive video on it explaining every detail about it, but I just included some of the nuances that I thought weren't covered well in other videos. So thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.